Does anybody remember way back in June of this year when Rockstar released their usual weekly update, but on this particular update, they used the phrase experience improvements? No? Well, let me jog your memory. It was Thursday, June 8th, just before they dropped the Mercenaries DLC, and this was the update that brought us the new career tracking feature. There was a whole bunch of creator updates and a bunch of other pretty cool gameplay updates, but what Rockstar will be remembered for on this date wasn't all the good stuff, it was the one huge kick in the groin update, which saw them remove almost 200 vehicles from the game. And do you remember their rationale for this? That's right, they filed this under experience improvements. Yeah, well, the fun didn't stop there because a few months later, Rockstar released the Business Production Weekly Update on Thursday, September 28th. Y'all remember this one? Yeah, this was the huge Kyo nerf job that they landed. Instead of experience improvements, this one was filed under adjustments needed to balance gameplay. But same thing, right? And this one was so blatant, they didn't even try to work it in with the update. I mean, the whole update was about providing bonuses to our businesses, and then BAM! No Kyo for you. They decreased the payouts, they increased the setup cost, and basically they just pissed off the entire GTA community. Well, I'm not sure you all caught this, but Rockstar might be at it again. So everyone's been talking about the new DLC coming out on Tuesday, and for those of you who don't remember, a couple weeks ago on November 30th, Rockstar teased this new DLC on their newswire. But what stood out to me was the very last paragraph in this update. Let's head over and I'll show you. All right, so when you come to Rockstar's website, okay, I'm gonna, a sidebar here, folks. You just released a trailer for your upcoming video game, which last week probably received, what, 500 bazillion hits? So you come to your website and the first thing you see is Grand Theft Auto Online, the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, all right, if you go to Newswire, let's go to Newswire. We'll scroll down to the, this was November 30th. So they dropped the teaser for the upcoming DLC, and this is it, right? So we get new online update coming this December, yada, yada. We all know about this. Yeah, I mean, this new stealing cars theme job business looks awesome can't wait if you come on down yeah we've got new drifting blah 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 additional features and improvements yada yada here we go more to come so let me read this in addition to the new vehicle robberies new vehicles and new racing series there's even more coming to gta online this holiday season and beyond there will be new music all new holiday modes awesome and Here's what I'm talking about. Additional experience improvements. I don't know about you, but when I first read that, there was kind of a huge lump in my throat. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, are you serious? Now I'm hoping this time around, Rockstar is actually going to give us some improvements, but what's that old saying? Once bitten, twice shy? You know, we've been bitten a bunch. And I guess I'm just a little worried that they're gonna nerf or worse yet, take away more fun in this game. Now again, I want to be fair because Rockstar has given us a bunch of new improvements, but it's what they've taken away that's really stung. And my pessimistic side is trying to think about what more in this game can they possibly take away. And there is one thing. Whenever I do these missions, I'm always reminded of how much money we're actually making for something that is so easy. And there's a little part of me that thinks, why is Rockstar giving us so much money? I'm talking, of course, about our beloved payphone hits. Yeah, the payphone hits from the agency. We get $85,000 for literally, like it's a couple minutes work. That is great money. And it has me worried. So yeah, just wondering if y'all caught this too and were wondering the same thing I was. Am I being a little too paranoid? Maybe blowing this way out of proportion? Well, I hope so. I really, really hope so. All right, so that's it, my friend. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to help out, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and let me know what you think. Do you think Rockstar mentioning experience improvements is no big deal? It's all going to be awesome, fun improvements. Or are you like me and cringing a little? If so, drop a comment below and let everyone know. Until next time, be happy to be safe. Mighty be the one maestro.